If you're a creator or tech enthusiast, this one's for you. The world of AI-powered tools for creative content generation is about to change. First up is Meta Movie Gen. So this one was announced back in October, and this one is currently not available to the public. It's still in its research and development phase. This one is designed to create 16 second long 1080p HD resolution videos. You can generate video from text. This is really crazy when you take a look at this. The quality of the videos, and I didn't know a koala could surf, but you know, anything's possible. Now, what's also interesting about this one, besides taking a text prompt and producing a video, you can also do things like transform a personal image into a unique video. So the lady drinking this coffee or warm beverage comes from the picture in the top right hand corner. You can create special effects via prompts. You can even take an image from a real video and then replace it with something else using the correct prompt. But this will quite possibly be one of my favorite features where you take an original video and then you give it a prompt and it replaces what you request using the original video content. So I'm sure a lot of creators are gonna find really good use for this one on social media platforms or just creating content in general. However, when it comes to text to prompt videos, OpenAI announced Sora back in February, and now it's publicly available for everyone to try, which is just crazy at this point. In fact, it was so well received that if you try to create an account right now, you may get this message. So as of this video, Sora account creation is temporarily unavailable because the traffic on the site is so high. So if you do get a chance to use this, the interface is pretty intuitive. So you can upload an image, you have your presets, you have your different aspect ratios that you can set, and you have the different resolutions that you can create. Now 1080p is significantly slower. And what's interesting enough is you get about 20 seconds of generated video. And you can also include variations. So one video, two, or four. And they also have a new storyboard feature. And really quickly on the left, you have your library, all your videos, your uploads, new folders, etc. I also want to say that they're pretty specific on the things that you agree to to use the service. Now, there are some restrictions. So uploading video right now with a person seems to have some limitations. And the video generation will fail and you won't be charged any credits. So what I'd like to do is take this image and create a five second clip or a 10 second clip. Now I'm kind of stuck generating something right now because the servers are being dominated by the amount of users using this right now. So if you stick around for the rest of the video, it may work out, it may not, no promises. In the meantime, while we're waiting for these overloaded servers to not catch fire, let's take a look at some of the other options and how prompt to video has improved. Okay, let's just take a quick second. I wanna show you how crazy this is right now. This image was generated by AI. And if you look very closely, you can see some of the nuances in the image that allow you to see that it's been generated by AI. Now, we've taken this image and we've converted it into a video. And it does a pretty decent representation of creating a four second clip. But right now, it seems like Sora is on a whole other level, but fear not. Now, we've kind of seen some of this technology already out in the wild. For instance, Pika allows you to do some crazy things as well. So where they kind of really shine is they have lots of special effects like ta-da, inflate, and so on, explode it, crush. You get the list. Um, this one here I tried, Cakeify it. And it kind of reminds me of a show. And then I started thinking, is this show a series of AI storyboards put together and then generated into an episode? Now watch very carefully and tell me if this is cake. Yeah, it's cake, but it's, it's also creepy cake if you look at it very carefully. But is it actually creepier than this? This is Sora's text to video generation. But I just wanna say the change that this is gonna bring to creatives and creators is inspiring to say the least. Like whether they're simple prompts or even more detailed prompts, the overall output is really impressive. Although Sora was released today, the competition is heating up and there's a lot of tools on the horizon. Xportrait 2 is promising that their model is highly adaptive and has a wide range of use cases from real world storytelling to creative animation and visual agents and visual effects. As you can see from this, there's gonna be a lot of use cases for this one. If you look closely, you'll see that the facial expressions are being represented by the actor in the bottom right and being produced in the final footage. Now, Xportrait's not the only one doing this. Runway Act 1 
is supposed to be very similar. So what I did was I uploaded my video here and I'm just saying a few words. And then down here, I have the add character reference image and I wanna generate what I'm gonna say down here. And once again, we're like 0 for 2. So this is also not working out here. So if I click generate, it is actually grayed out and I have the right amount of tokens. So alternatively, what I tried was I went to the prompt and I uploaded the same image. So this is not really a prompt to image. It's just an image to a movie, which we've kind of already seen out there. So this was generated with the Gen 3 Alpha Turbo. And after this generation was complete, I mean, it wasn't that bad. So aside from this guy's uh, really intimidating stare, you notice that there's a few nuances here. Like the smoke coming off the back of this candle is intense. And also the there's a little bit of like magic or I don't know, like trickery here because there's this candle or torch in the background. And as he leans closer, then it somehow teleports to the foreground. It's really not that much different as to what can be generated with Mid Journey, Dali, or Leonardo, or some other tool like that. And to be fair, here's another video generated by one of the three I had mentioned. And as you can see, it seems like Runway kind of gets it right. I mean, aside from the transition and the face, and there's a little bit of skewing, but at the end of the day, this is not bad, but there are some hiccups. Now, it'd be very interesting to see how Sora would handle this as it does remixes, which is really cool. And the ability to recut a video is also a feature. Like I had mentioned before, the storyboard, you can trim down videos and create seamless loops. You can take two videos and blend them together to create one seamless clip. Not only do you have preset styles as compared to the original video, Sora is also included in these GPT plans. So if you're a GPT plus member, you'll get up to 50 priority videos and if you're a GPT Pro member, you get 1080p, like I showed you before, up to 20 seconds duration, and you can download this without a watermark. I'm not in the habit of disappointing, but now, unfortunately, I'm kind of stuck generating something right now because the servers are just so overwhelmed. But as a consolation, the information provided in this video should get you started, or at least curious, about the AI creative experience. And this is not an exhaustive list. There are so many tools out there that I haven't even mentioned including some of the top open source LLMs, such as ChatGPT, Llama, Gemini, Claude, Bloom, Falcon, the list goes on and on. And for my devs out there, there are so many APIs available for us to use. No matter what your creative goals are, there seems to be a tool out there to elevate your projects. Which ones are you most excited to try? Let me know in the comments below. And check out the description for the links of the video tools we covered in this video. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. And if you're looking for additional content, I highly recommend that you watch the next upcoming video.